Keeping the cutting edge of your wood turning tools sharp is essential to any turning project and can be a difficult task for even the most accomplished wood turner. A great system to accomplish this is a bench grinder and multi-purpose adjustable jig. There are several sharpening systems on the market, all of which support your tools during the sharpening process. This allows for consistent results from tool to tool and is simpler than trying to sharpen tools freehand. In addition, a variable speed or low speed grinder allows you to sharpen tools at lower RPMs, preventing heat buildup that can ruin or temper the tool being sharpened. If you're new to sharpening a skew, use a black marker to color both cutting surfaces of the skew. This will come in handy when correctly positioning the skew to the grinding wheel. Insert one end of the V-pocket jig extension arm into the base. Slip the skew grinding jig attachment on the end of the extension arm and secure it in place with the screw knob. Position the handle of the skew in either the right hand or left hand V-pocket of the skew attachment jig. Move the extension arm forward or backward in the base until the beveled cutting edge of the skew rests flat on the grinding wheel. Rotate the wheel slowly by hand and view the skew and grinding wheel from the side to ensure the two surfaces are perfectly flush. Once correctly positioned, tighten the positioning handles. Start the grinder and lightly grind one edge of the skew. Look at the cutting edge of the skew darkened with the marker to determine the angle of the beveled edge against the grinding wheel. If the sharpened area is more at the point of the bevel, slide the extension arm slightly closer to the wheel. If the sharpened edge is more towards the heel, move the adjustment arm slightly away from the wheel. Adjust the extension arm as necessary for a flush grind from heel to toe. The goal is to have the entire beveled edge perfectly flat against the grinding wheel. Once correctly positioned, lock the adjustment arm in place. Using a grinder speed of about 1800 to 2000 RPMs, slowly move the cutting edge of the skew back and forth until the entire beveled surface has been ground. Flip the tool over, move the handle to the other V-pocket, and sharpen the opposite bevel. Inspect the two sharpened surfaces. The ridge between the bevels should be centered. If the ridge is off-center, lightly sharpen the shorter beveled edge to center the ridge. To sharpen a spindle roughing gouge, position the handle in the center V-pocket. Adjust the length of the arm so the angled cutting edge of the gouge rides flush against the grinding wheel. A 40 degree angle on the gouge is a typical grind. With light, even pressure, roll the tool back and forth over the wheel. If it helps, use a marker to darken the beveled edge on the tool to determine the location of the grind to correctly position the extension arm. To sharpen the parting tool, position it in the center pocket of the jig. As done with the skew and gouge, adjust the arm until the cutting edge of the parting tool rests flat against the grinding wheel. Adjust as necessary and then sharpen both opposing edges of the tool. A sharp edge on your tools makes for a cleaner cut, reduces or eliminates chip out, and minimizes sanding. When it comes to sharpening tools, practice makes perfect.